Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Jet Ubacho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a jetatorial. The U.S. will begin screening travelers who have been in Rwanda within the last 21 days for Marburg virus, a rare but deadly disease similar to Ebola. Although the current risk to the U.S. is low, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention will implement public health entry screenings starting October 14th. Rwanda is experiencing its first outbreak with 56 confirmed cases and 12 deaths. Marburg spreads through contact with bodily fluids and is not airborne. The CDC has issued a Level 3 travel notice advising against non-essential travel to Rwanda. The U.S. is providing financial and medical support, including investigational vaccines and treatments. In other developments, starting in April 2025, the cost of a Mega Millions ticket will rise from $2 to $5. Lottery officials announced the price hike will bring improved odds and larger prizes. This marks the second time the ticket price has increased in the game's 22-year history, with the last increase occurring in 2017. The new changes are expected to result in larger starting jackpots and quicker growth. Officials also noted that there will be no break-even prizes, meaning every winning ticket will exceed the $5 cost. More details on the updated game will be revealed soon. Mega Millions is played in 45 states, Washington, D.C., and the U.S. Virgin Islands. In other updates... American Water, the largest U.S. regulated water and wastewater utility, revealed it was targeted by a cyber attack. Unauthorized activity in the company's computer networks was detected last Thursday. In response, American Water activated incident protocols, enlisted third-party cybersecurity experts, and notified law enforcement. The company temporarily took its customer portal offline and paused billing services. Despite the attack, American Water stated that its water and wastewater facilities remain unaffected. The New Jersey-based utility serves over 14 million people across 14 states and 18 military installations. An investigation into the cyber attack is ongoing. In another update, the Chicago Department of Public Health issued a warning to those who attended the Outdoor Goose concert at Salt Shed on September 12 regarding possible exposure to rabies carrying bats. Concert goers who were bitten, scratched, or had direct contact with a bat are urged to seek medical attention for rabies post-exposure prophylaxis. Rabies is a fatal disease that affects the nervous system if untreated. Bats in the Chicago area are known carriers, though not all are infected. The CDPH emphasized that if no direct contact with a bat occurred, there is no risk of rabies. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale.